Well, right off the top, we're going to jump straight into some Montana State highlights. The Bobcats at Weber State on a Friday night. How about some Big Sky Conference action? Two of the top teams in the league going head to head. Wildcats get the ball first. They're all going to need four minutes, 22 seconds to score. That's an All-American. That's Josh Davis punching it in from nine yards out. Seven nothing Weber. Montana State looking the answer. Tommy Mallott comes in, runs this one inside the Wildcats 10 yard line. And on fourth and goal from the one, it's Matt McKay. The, uh, where's he from? North Carolina State transfer. That's right. All tied at seven near the end of the first. And the Cats, last check, led this one 13-7 at the start of the fourth quarter. You can find a full recap online at montanasports.com. Well, good evening. Welcome to week eight of Sports Extra. Tom Wiley here. Thanks for joining us. Well, we begin tonight in class AA where the resurgent CMR wrestlers can make a statement against the team many had penciled in to that state AA title game. We're talking about Billings West and some of their weapons, including the Dowler brothers. They're in Great Falls tonight. It's pink night in the stands. West had posted two straight shutouts but the wrestlers make that statement. Cole Taylor to Rafe Newbro in the middle of the end zone. That's the first touchdown. West has given up in four weeks. 7-0 CMR. Second quarter Bears with an answer. Isaiah Clonch looking deep. Who else? Taco Dowler all alone. 49 yards to knock things up at seven apiece. West here deep in their own territory. Clonch trying to make something out of nothing. Picks up what looks like a first down, but the cops up the football. And the wrestlers would take over deep in West territory. And here's Taylor faking the handoff, picking his way in for an 11 yard touchdown. And CMR leads 14 to 7. Ensuing Bears possession, Clanch to Riley Bergeson. He takes it in. That's a 26 yard score. We're all tied up at 14, entering halftime, but you can't keep West off the board for long. Third quarter, Clanch to Taco Dowler once again. Outrunning the defense, 78 yards to the house. That makes it 28-14, and West pulls away in the second half, 42-40. to Meanwhile, Great Falls High has won three straight games, looking to make it four at Billings Senior. End of the first half, fourth and goal for the Bison from the one-half-yard line. Reed Harris, bootleg right. Can he find the pylon? He does. That's what happens when you're six foot four inches and athletic is all get out. Great Falls up 10-7 at the break, third quarter, trying to add to the lead. Harris rolls to his left. He's looking back, right throws, and Ryan Craya goes up and over two defenders, and he comes down with a football. Touchdown, incredible play by the senior, and the Bison leads 17-7. Next possession, senior gets the ball into Great Falls territory. They get it, uh, they get tricky here, but fumble on the reverse. That's Mike Ortiz jumping on it. Bison take over. Fourth quarter, you got to watch this play. Fourth and 12, Harris, one of the most athletic kids in the state. Looks like he's going to get sacked once, maybe even twice. But he spins around another defender, dives for the first down. Incredible effort for the quarterback, and it's paid off. Bison would cash in with an insurance touchdown, and that would do it. Great Falls High wins 23-7. to They've won four straight to climb up the Eastern double a standings. How about a big northern B rivalry game? This one has postseason uh, implications. Undefeated Malta at Glasgow. Malta striking first. Spencer Gibb behind the defense wide open. Connor Tuss hits him. It's eight nothing Mustangs driving again now. That's Salisbury over the goal line extends it 16 nothing after another two point conversion. Mustangs in the second quarter taking command of that one. Rex Williamson gets the handoff two point conversion makes it 24 nothing. Glasgow not out of this one. Tatum Hansen finds the edge darts towards the end zone. This is more Malta scoring rather. Now we're going to look at Glasgow getting on the board. Tatum Hansen. Yeah, getting around the defense there. He finds the end zone 24 to 6 at that point but the Mustangs keep their foot on the gas. It's Tuss hits Gibb in stride again for a huge gain. Two plays later we're going to see Salisbury run into the end zone yet again for Malta. They were up 30 to 6 and they would clinch the top spot in the Northern B and the one seed in the playoffs. Well they do have to play Fairfield next week. That's going to be a fun game but 37 6 the final in Glasgow. How about eight man showdown belts and Shelby. They're playing for the second straight week. That's Bridger Vogel with the interception. A pick six Vogel again 
reaching into the bag, jukes a few coyotes and gets a first down in Shelby territory a few pays later. Jeremy Nebel pulls down the crazy catch in the end zone, 14 nothing belt. Nice punt return gives the Huskies first and goal again. Ethan Triplett just waltzes in. 22 nothing Huskies, second quarter, more big plays. Keen McDaniel, nice moves, pushes into Shelby territory again, and Vogel caps things off, second score of the night. Belt rolls, Shelby with a second straight leak, 44 to six. Well, we will be right back with more highlights after the break, including a big one in Billings. The Central Rams hosting Lewistown. That has playoff implications as well. We'll be right back. Cut. We're back with more MTN Sports Extra. Well, back right at a Class A Lewistown on the road at Billings Central, and that is Lewistown punching it in. Kate Boyd slams his way. It's 7-0 Golden Eagles. Less than a minute later, now we're going to get into that one. All right, Lewistown at Billing Central. Now, Lewistown's just been dominant all season long, minus the loss to Laurel. This is, uh, yeah, that's Billing Central scoring first, 7 0. Less than a minute later, Fergus answers. Chance field to Luke Clinton, hauling in the deep ball. He goes all the way. We're knotted up. Central marching again near midfield, but the pass is deflected and picked off by Kyler Fleming, working his way back in here. Eagles now go deep and check out Boyd playing center field 7-7 at halftime. Late in the third quarter, we go Fergus going back to work after a, a fake punt. Same touchdown combination. Fields to Luke Clinton, 14-7 Lewistown. Under eight minutes left in the game, Fergus back to punt deep in its own territory. They miss hit it, 3.30 to play. Central takes over, and the bag of tricks wide open for Boyd. Scratches in for the touchdown. Nine seconds left. Lewistown on the two-yard line. Gage Norslin punches it in, and Lewistown gets a huge one on the road, 21-14. to 14. All right, welcome back. The question all season, can anyone hang with Missoula Sentinel? Capital, the latest team to try. Sentinel already leading 14-0. Looking to add more. Capitals defense forces the fumble, but the Bruins don't get any points on it. Quentin Schrader makes it an 18-0 Spartan lead after the field goal. Entering halftime, Sentinel's offense looking for more here. Zach Cruz connects with Drew Klump, 41 yards, just down to the four-yard line. Then Adam Jones scores his third touchdown of the game. That makes it 25-0 Spartan. Sentinel now trying to put it away. Cruz airing it out once again. Check out the fingertip grab near the crown there. We're going to take another look at it from Carson Bites. The touchdown connection one more time. Cruz, Easton Ledbetter. He'll pick his way in for a score. The Spartans improved to 7-0. 17th straight win, 32 to nothing. Pitch of the shutout over Helena Capital. Meanwhile, Helena High hosting Missoula Big Sky. It's pink nights in the capital city as well. Just over six minutes into the first quarter, the Bengals break through. Cade Holland in from short range. Bengals up 7-0. Big Sky forced to punt on fourth and long. Marcus Evans, future Montana Grizzly, flies in to block Lewis Sanders' punt. The Bengals have the ball in Eagle territory. Second quarter now, Holland once again in from short range. After some deliberation, they do give him the touchdown. It's 14-0 Bengals. Threatening once again are the hell and a high crew, but Sanders looking to make a point. He will pick off Caden Hewitt over the middle, works his way back into hell in a territory. 20 yards on the return. Eagles trying to move the ball, but Caleb Wren's pass. You got to watch this. Broken up. Actually, it is does find a receiver, but nothing doing for the Eagles. Next possession, Hewitt finds Caden Schlepp in the end zone. Helena wins. 42 to 7. What a night of sports. You can find all the highlights, the recap, and everything at montanasports.com. What do you think, guys? It was a beautiful night for football, right, Ryan? Beautiful yeah, it was weather. Perfect mid October weather. weather. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully it stays that way. Right. I know we're not in for that much luck the whole season, but nonetheless, yeah. this was great.